Okay, 2023 Mercedes Sprinter van, two liter twin turbo diesel. Doing an install video today on our X2 bypass filter. So we're gonna move the oil fill cap. It's got this cool hose on it, but there's a clip down at the bottom that we can slide this off. I'm just gonna wrap it in this rag so it doesn't dump any of this extra oil down on the floor. So we'll just slide it over here, out of the way. And we're gonna use an inch and a 16th wobbly socket. And we actually have the filter head off right now, the filter cap. But you put that in right there. So your filter cap is right there. You use that wobbly socket to get in on it. Spin it off. You can actually reach your hand in there and pull that filter cap out. Right here. And you gotta pull the filter out too. And then, there we yeah. go. Okay. The next part of this is gonna be, you gotta get the little plastic adapter out of the bottom okay. here. And I just grab this little hook and pop that out of there. And that piece, your bypass mode goes in here. There we, go. there we go. Hear that click. <laughs> Listen for the click. There I go. This would be the pressure port. So this goes in here like this. All right. Yeah. And that's your. Install your filter with your. And you got to line this up in there when you stick it down in. So you'll probably want to put this in there first. You see down in that hole, there's a hole at the top at the 12 o'clock mark. I'm gonna put this into that hole. I'm gonna mark it with my dirty finger so I know where it goes. It's gonna be about right there. I'm gonna push it in. Okay, we found the perfect mounting spot. This is our bracket. These are 5 16 bolts. And there's actually two pre-drilled holes in that metal white metal bracket. So we'll throw some nuts on there and then we'll just mount our canister right there. So your pressure line is six feet long, 72 inches. That'll go from the top of your filter cap to the bottom inlet of the oil bypass filter. So you see it bottom out and behind these threads. Okay, so I'm going to lubricate this part of the fitting. We're going to hold the hose underneath. You don't want to let the hose push out of the nut. Lubricate the tip of this. Hold the hose on the bottom. On the filter housing cap, and it's 122 inch pounds or 11 foot pounds, which is not very much. To lubricate this o-ring okay so i'm spinning the filter housing cap back on 45 fitting on it and it's really tight if you need more access or want more access you can actually take this air box off i heard it just kind of work it up through the that's not bad but now that we're done playing with the intake it's actually not not bad at all to get this in here with a one inch crow's foot and spin this oil filter housing cap down 18 newton meters you can feel it drag on the o-ring until it touches and hits that and then you can feel it hit and you're like all right so i just snugged it against that nice and tight and high up here so the intake will come in here it's up underneath your intake next to your overflow on your antifreeze reservoir and right down to the bottom of the filter to the inlet this is our optional sample port valve. Got a little dust cover. What we do is we drill and tap lid to your bypass filter, which is pre-bypass filter oil. All this right on the top of your lid. With thread sealant, the valve, you push down and it allows the oil out right here. So it'll be, you'll have your engine running, open the valve, pour it into the sample port. So we have an adapter that goes through this drain plug, but it's a, it's a long sweeping 90 to the hose and it kind of hangs down a little bit far. So the customer wants to drill and tap the oil pan, aluminum oil pan, 
And that's, so that's what we're doing here. We're gonna drill into it and we'll tap it to an eighth inch pipe thread and then we'll be able to stick our 90 on it right there. So our return from the filter will come in to this new tapped port on the oil pan. And we've got it full of oil so that it will push the shavings out and not allow them to go in. I got this sneaky suspicion it's gonna splash all over me. Yeah. So it's an eighth inch pipe thread by 6AN hose. This is a 16 millimeter socket. It says 60 inch pounds with thread sealant on it. Okay, so return line, 42 inches long, three and a half feet. It will have this for the bottom of the filter housing. And this will go into that one we threaded into the... You're going to push your hose in till it bottoms out at the bottom of the threads again. Lubricate the fitting. Holding the hose on the bottom. Making sure it doesn't spin or push back out of the fitting. So there's a little bit of space there. Just until it touches. That's all you need. Take the fitting out off of here. Push your hose in. Till it bottoms, hits the bottom side of the threads. Lubricate. Hold the hose on the bottom. Spin it in till it touches. 42 inch return hose. And then drag it. Okay, this is the supply hose from the oil filter cap. See where it says in? We're going to go on the in with thread sealant. These swivel fittings are freaking awesome. 122 inch pounds, 11 foot pounds, right there. Also going to grab, this is the return which goes down to the oil pan that we drilled and tapped. Thread sealant on it, and it goes in the out. It goes in the out. 122 inch pounds, right there. There we go. String plugs in. We don't want to over torque that eighth inch NPT. Filter in. Okay, so we dropped the canister so that it's not touching the air box. It was up just a little bit high, so. Now we're gonna to torque to 35 foot pounds. It's 30 foot pounds at zero degrees Fahrenheit and 35 foot pounds at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna, pull this. I'm gonna go underneath just right on this little piece of plastic tubing just so that it's held in place. This is not going to be as easy as the last ones because you got your little flexi filler neck there. So this engine calls for 11 quarts with an oil change. 
we're putting in 12 quarts because we added the quart for the X2 filter. And the lines. And the lines. But double check your level. Does not appear to be leaking.